What's up? It's Paul from Guitar World, and today we're going to be talking about two of Grover's most popular locking tuners. Let's dig in and check it out. Grover is well known in the industry for their legendary and instantly recognizable tuning machines found on some of the most popular guitars and basses. What you may not realize is Grover also makes outstanding locking tuners as well, so let me quickly show you some of them. The Grover 106 series original locking rotomatic tuning machines are standard size tuning machines that automatically lock once you begin tuning. And later I will install these on my guitar and show you how they work. Some guitars utilize smaller size tuners and that's where the Grover 406 series mini locking rotomatic tuning machines come in. Same innovative and classic design as the 106 but with smaller buttons for those who prefer a little more space for their fingers. Next up is Grover's 502 original Roto Grip locking Rotomatics tuning machines, which I have on my guitar right now. These are standard size and feature a thumb screw wheel locking mechanism found on the back of the tuner. And finally, the Grover 505 series mini Roto Grip locking Rotomatic tuning machines are a smaller version of the regular size Roto Grip locking tuners for inline and smaller headstocks. All these tuners are an ideal replacement for most standard guitar tuning machines and all feature 18 to 1 gear ratios for precise tuning. And they all come with all the necessary mounting hardware. Also, all the tuners mentioned before, the 106, the 406, the 502, and 505 are available in a 3x3 configuration, otherwise known as a 3 treble and 3 bass, like on the Les Paul here. However, the smaller versions, such as the Grover 406, and the 505 series are also available in six in line for guitars that feature a six in line headstock. Incidentally, there's also a 505 FV Roto Grip locking Rotomatics that's a replacement for vintage Fender tuners. These are designed with overlapping ear holes to match up with the existing screw holes so you won't have to modify your guitar when installing. Now let me show you how the locking mechanism works for the 502 and then later the 106. So, my Epiphone Les Paul that I have here comes stock with Grover's 102 series original Rotomatic tuning machines, non-locking. I decided to go the locking tuner route, and if you look closely, I replaced my standard 102s for Grover's 502 original Rotogrip locking Rotomatics tuning machines. I'm going to change a string and show you how it works. So, these Grover 502 Rotogrip locking Rotomatics feature a precise 18 to 1 gear ratio, but also feature the thumb wheel locking me mechanism that keeps this securely in place. So let me show you how easy it is to change a string on this one. Now I have strings already strung up on it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen these and then put a new string on and show you how it's done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to loosen the string. Pretty much when it's in line going that way. Let me flip this over so you can see better. I'm going to loosen the thumb wheel, screw wheel, and this string will simply pop out like that. Changing a string couldn't be easier. Simply thread your string here, of course. Now I already have the post hole going that way, so insert the string through the post hole. Now, if it doesn't go through automatically, then you can loosen the, th the screw wheel until it pops through. Luckily, this pops right through. So, pull it right through, put it on the nut, make sure it's secure here. Wrap it around once, pull taut and wrap around the post. Then, tighten the sc screw wheel from behind. And what I'm doing is I'm going in a counterclockwise motion. I'll show you on this side. So I'm tightening it. And once it's tightened, next thing you do is just bring it up to pitch. Should be there, should be very quickly. And you can see the string is firmly in place and locked in. I'll do the same for the G-string. Let's loosen it. Try to keep 
the post hole in line with the nut going that way. And then I'll loosen the thumbs, the screw wheel, and it pops right out. Now you see it's not going through, so I'm just going to move this, the thumb wheel until it pops through. And there it goes. Line it up on the, on the nut and the bridge. Pull this way. Then tighten. Same counterclockwise motion from underneath the thumb wheel till it catches. Same idea. Then we just tune it to pitch. And just like that, basically goes around just one, almost a one revolution and it's already. And that's it, it's locked in place. Obviously you'll need to stretch your strings and then simply just cut the string off, excess string. Be careful not to cut the actual string you just put on. So there it is. Now you see how easy it is to change a string and replace a string on the Grover Roto Grip Rotomatic Locking Tuners. The thumb screw wheel is so easy to use and it just locks in place, one revolution, and you're in business. Now I'm going to show you Grover's other locking tuners, the original 106 locking tuners. These don't have a thumb screw wheel. Uh, these just lock in place. So I'm going to change these 502s and put on the 106. So now you just saw that I installed these Grover 106 series original locking rotomatic tuning machines and you can see these have a bit of a longer string post. But that gives you the ease of use provided by a standard tuner and the positive locking of Grover's internal cam post. So how these work to, uh, to change a string and to lock into place, let me show you. So the first thing we need to do is turn the tip of the string post until it clicks into place. Hear that? Now I'm going to simply insert the string through the string hole. Make sure it's up here. And on the nut, I'm going to pull the tension. Usually I pull back like that. And then, just got to start tuning. And so you can see the locking cam automatically locks as soon as I start tuning. So this is already ready to go. And pretty much you do the same with all the other strings. So tip of the post till you hear it click, insert the string. Thread it through, check, put it, thread it through the nut, pull the tension, and then. And just to be safe, let's do it on, on, uh, on the treble strings. So click into place. Simply insert the string through. Line it up on the nut and bridge. Hold the tension. And simply tune. And you can see it doesn't take much of a revolution. And it's locked into place. All right, I'm going to string this all up. So in less than one revolution, these 106s automatically lock your string and it's real simple to use. These are great locking tuners.
Now you've seen the difference between the Grover 502 Roto-Grip Locking Rotomatics tuners and the 106 Series Original Locking Rotomatic tuners. Hopefully one or the other suits your locking tuner needs. Keep in mind, Grover makes a whole bunch of world-class tuning machines in a variety of modern and classic styles. Check them out, and thanks for watching.